Hello, everybody, and welcome to I Didn't Press Go Live. Gotta do this again, right? I didn't hit the live here. That's already live. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, I am live. We killed it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm live. You guys, we're having technical difficulties. Can you see us? This is how we start off every Bible we do. <laughs> We're, this is what uh, happens when you get high on yeah. the Holy Ghost. Can you hear us? <laughs> Can you see us? Okay, good. There we go. Oh, beat me okay. to it. Okay. Good. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the entire Bible read through. We're doing 1 Samuel 9 through 16. And we just had our first communion. It was super blessed. Man, so, so blessed. awesome. So blessed. I hope you guys Woo. participated in it. If you didn't, you can go back and watch the video at any time and uh, and check that out. Also, there's a pre-setup video, though, so you can learn about communion before you partake. I highly, highly, highly recommend that. And uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, we should dive right on. Uh, you guys, thank you very much for participating in this. Thank you for all the wonderful comments you have left. You guys, again, have done an amazing job uh, reading your Bibles. So cool that you read your Bibles the way you guys are reading them and you're getting so much. Hallelujah. All right, let's jump on in with the generals. Your lead, sir. You get to read. All right. Woo! I'm good just, to be I'm with just you guys. here to watch. You, you guys get to do all the legwork now. Um, my brain's a little bit on the mushy side after, after an no awesome, excuses. awesome experience, right? Yes. So um, you're going to get what you're going to get. Here we go. Uh, general comments, Irina KD, you labeled a general comment, so I put it in the general comments. <laughs> Reading the story about Saul, I feel how God must be disappointed with each of his sons and daughters when we talk to him and put our hearts to him completely open, and then we forget, and we sin, and we disappoint him. I really hope our behavior, mistakes, and our constant comebacks aren't that disappointing to him as the one with Saul. Well, <clears throat> I hope so too. <laughs> yeah. When we read the story of Saul, we both felt like, oh, he got, oh, he got very, very little grace shown. In, in, in a certain kind of way, he did. Yeah, he got and, very little and, grace shown. And he sort of, we also, we also recognize how much he just kind of walked into being suddenly king of Israel. He was yeah. just looking for some donkeys that his father had lost. <laughs> right. Him. You know, and then this, and then the prophet shows up and goes, "Hey, you." <laughs> yeah. Come have dinner with me. We got something to talk about. So we all... How amazing is that? Like, yeah. You just walk up and this guy who's famous, Samuel. Yeah. He's just like, by the way, you're going to be king of Israel. You're like, I'm just looking for three donkeys, man. Yeah. Yeah. And Saul <laughs> was uh, hiding. Remember, he was hiding. We'll get to that. I'm sure people talk yeah. about it. But um, he was hiding in his coronation. Not sure he wanted the job. Mm -hmm. um, That's pretty funny. But there's other things that happens, you know, after he did get the job. It wasn't the Saul that searched for the donkeys that was under, you could say, judgment, right? It was the Saul that had received the, the Spirit of God. Saul that had seen. <clears throat> Saul that had prophesied. Saul that had done many, many things and experienced many, many things before he um, was so disappointing. Chastised. So disappointing that God had to exclude him from. Um, the you know anointing you could say, but we're gonna get there in just a moment. We will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Manjo Man Matani, Manoj, Manoj, Manoj Matani, Matani. Hey Nathan and Alex, just a brief update from my side. I see that you guys are way out ahead of me. I'm still on Joshua seven, but I'm really happy with my progress. Hallelujah, we're happy too. Yes. Uh, there are so many lessons and God patterns and principles that I have learned. Amazing stuff. I never knew reading and studying the Bible would be so intriguing. Bam. Much better than all the TV series out there. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord on that. Um, thanks again for starting me off on a great and wonderful adventure. I'm so blessed to have finally been given the chance to join his great family. God bless you guys. You're doing a wonderful job. Aww. Praise the Lord. Well, it's all of us, so praise the Lord on that. Yeah, we're all in it together. This, this fellowship is so amazing, you guys. I'm... I can't wait to get to the New Testament, and, and if you guys want to get there, but in the book of Acts, it talks about how the, how the apostles actually did church, and uh, it was every day in the homes. And uh, what we're doing is this, this, this thing that we're doing where we fellowship, where you guys read, we read, we all contribute, and we all talk about how we experienced the Bible and how it affected us and, and moved in our spirits and grew us. That is the way that, that the apostles actually did church. It's pretty amazing. So uh, Book of Acts, if you want to read, just to get that, that thing so that you guys can see what we're doing here. It's pretty awesome stuff. All right. 
continuing on. Awesome. Uh, Mary Hops Schleining. Schleining? Sorry, that's a tough one to pronounce. Wow, you you got one that stumped Alex. It, it did. Well, I'm I'm not all knowing when it comes to you're names. pretty good with names, buddy. Let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, you're responding to Minaj. Um, Minaj, funny. I'm ahead, First Kings, but I will follow along on Sunday. Things sound familiar, like the gold mice, etc. My husband and I wondered about that though. That too. Thank you so much, Nathan and Alex, and also for adding humor to it. It, it makes it more fun. <laughs> well, we'd love to say we're trying to add humor, but in reality, we're just goofballs. So, yeah. praise the Lord and that you're humored by it. Yeah. This is, what, this is what we're like. So <laughs> We have no choice. Yeah. We're, we're just... He made us this way. We're, we're made silly. Okay. Like, um, like it or not, either way, it's his fault. <laughs> <laughs> praise um, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Um, and Minaj is responding to Mary saying, Wow, Kings, First Kings, I'm so jealous. I have so much more to read and study. I don't know how to remember all of it. Well, um, talking about it helps. When yeah. you talk about it, when you fellowship on it, it actually helps it stick. Uh, the more you share about what you've learned and the more how you apply it to your life in the real time, in this life right now, like you, you take the scriptures and you look at the world around you, then it, it sticks in you because it becomes part of your life as well. So... And also this fellowship, as we all talk about it, how much more solid, how much more amazing that, that you know, you, you can read something, you can get it, and you can move on. Yeah. And you can it can sort of fade into your memory. Exactly. But when you read something, you get it, and you get excited, and you share it, and you talk about it, and you fellowship about it, 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 it now is much more of an event, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And the fellowship about it is, it keeps it fresh. If, if you're just reading... You're kind of in that state of like, what's coming next? What's coming next? What's coming next? And you might say, see something that pops up that looks familiar. But when you're fellowshipping and you're doing this, we read it through the week. And then on Sunday, if you really think about it, what are we all doing? We're recapping. Yeah. And so it's like we're allowing our brains to go, okay, let's re-categorize. Let's re-remember what we just read, which is strengthening our muscle to um, to uh, keep the scripture fresh in our minds and apply it. So this 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 is why fellowship is so important. This is why it's so important that everybody reads the Bible and then brings it together instead of one person or two people. You know, that's, that is beneficial. It is great to have teachers. But the, the benefits of fellowship and everybody coming together is like next level. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, what's up there? Are we not 